the silly did you want to um, one of the criticisms that people are making is that this is just going to be a rich person's toy and actually people of, of low or, or moderate means will never be able to travel on this can you reassure people that actually it is going to be a railway for everybody uh, and, and what will happen about regulating fair prices etc um, well, the first uncomfortable fact, perhaps number one, is that the railway is already relatively a rich man's um, toy, the whole railway. People who use the railway are, uh, on average, uh, have significantly higher incomes than um, the population uh, as a whole. Simple fact. Um, the assumptions underlying uh, the pattern of use of HS2 uh, assume similar pricing to the West Coast Main Line, which, as I have said before, ranges from eye-wateringly expensive to really quite reasonable if you dig around and um, use the advanced purchase ticket options that are available. Uh, and therefore, the assumption is that the socio-economic uh, mix of passengers will be broadly similar to those currently using the West Coast Main Line. But look, there is another point here, which I think we've got to be absolutely clear about. If you're working in a factory in Manchester, you might never get on HS2, but you will certainly be benefiting from it if the salesman and sales director of your company is routinely hopping on it to go and meet customers, uh, to, to, to jet round the world from Heathrow um, in a way that brings in orders that keep you employed. So the, the benefits of greater connectivity, the benefits of bringing businesses closer to their markets, uh, the benefits from release freight capacity of moving goods efficiently around the country don't only accrue to the people who will actually use the railway, they accrue to some people who will never even get on the railway. They certainly accrue to people um, who will use services on the West Coast and East Coast main lines that wouldn't have been able to be provided if we hadn't been able to move the long distance city to city traffic onto a high speed railway. So it's a complicated uh, model and the ripple effects will spread across the whole of the economy in ways that it would be foolish to even try and pretend we can wholly predict uh, and quantify at this stage.